chapter 24, Ezekiel chapter 24. And this one, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We've got, uh, he, it, and this, this is actually happening in the year, and it's, uh, it gets mentioned here. The, the, the year and the date are mentioned here. God has, has a reason for that of when Nebuchadnezzar moves in and starts the siege of Jerusalem. Okay. And it's, uh, he's uh, commissioned to announce to his fellow exiles, the ones that are, that are there in, in, in you know, the Babylonian Empire, uh, and, you know, and it was all foretold. He, he was, you know, that, that uh, uh, the destruction of Jerusalem was now happening. Okay. You know, they, they, they weren't, even the folks in Jerusalem weren't believing this. But it was foretold. You know, Isaiah, everybody, you name it, all the prophets before, you know, uh, foretold it. And God told them, hey, it's going to happen, guys. And when God says, uh, thus, you know, it, it shall come to pass, it came to pass. Okay, and and you know so it's now in the course. Siege has begun, and and we've got a parable to declare this. So we start out uh, Ezekiel chapter twenty-four again in the ninth year, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month. Okay, uh, ninth, what's, ninth, ninth month is. October, well, in, on our calendar it would be October. October and the 10th month. Yeah, oh, October's, yeah. You said the 10th month. You know, ninth, ninth, yeah, ninth year, ten, yeah, ninth year, 10th month, yeah. Yeah, October, okay. So on our calendar it would be uh, the uh, t uh, ten, October 10th. Okay, now, uh, it, does not actually say, okay, this ninth year, it does not specifically say the ninth year from when. Now, I, you know, I was kind of looking on my, my uh, uh, timeline there, and it's not really the, the, you know, the ninth year, this ninth year doesn't match up with anything on my timeline as far as you know, if you, you know, start of the of the uh, captivity, which would have been in in six o on the timeline six o five B C when this battle of Carchemish happened, uh, and Nebuchadnezzar and his army uh, had this battle with the Egyptians and and he lost and he took it out on and since uh, Jerusalem was on the way home and back, you know. For, you know, for Nebuchadnezzar to, to Egypt and to this battle of Carchemish and then back home it was on the way. So you know, Jerusalem was and, and Israel was uh, collateral damage. So that doesn't quite match up with, of course, uh, if, you, if you have timelines, okay, uh, Every, every Bible scholar has pretty much their own timeline. You know, same thing. Uh, you can, you can, Bible scholar can figure out a timeline. If you have 10 Bible scholars figuring out timelines, you have 10 different timelines. Or, or you know, 200. Now, my, my Bible, you know, it, and I, I think most Bibles will have a date kind of over in the margin, you know, and, and most of the time, the date is uh, followed by a question mark, okay? And of course, mine's, you know, Thompson Chain Reference Bible, and so, so there's, there's a, a date there that says that this, you know, 590 B.C. So, but again, you know, we, we don't know, as, do most of your Bibles have, have a timeline on them? In the in the, his, oh, what 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 does yours say? Twenty four is five ninety BC. Five ninety BC. Okay, yeah. 
That's what mine says. Okay, and uh, so uh, you know we, we don't know what, when, you know, nine years from when, ninth year of what. We don't know for sure. And like I said, you know, other Bible scholars, you know, they can, well, they can pin it down to, to such and such a date. Uh, but yeah, and of course. You know, all the Bible scholars that tried to figure out when, when, when Christ was born, you know, they got December 25th, but that wasn't even close. <laughs> and, 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 of course, then, then, you know, after that, oh, he was born, they start the, the what, the, the, our current calendar starts, you know, zero would be his birth, right? But that doesn't quite work out either, and it should be about two years before. So like about 2 BC, and if you want to get, you know, if you kind of figure other stuff out, and, and I, I've done this a couple of times during Christmas, you know, when was Jesus really born? Probably about the 29th of September, 2 BC. Okay. So uh, to point out that Y2K, happened two years earlier than, you know, I messed up Y2K altogether, you know. So anyway. How do you suppose, what is the significance that they made, that they built that particular day? Uh, in other words, why is he supposed to be so specific there? Oh, well, actually, here, down to verse 2, okay? Uh, ninth year, tenth month, tenth day of the year uh, of the month, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, write thee the name of the day, okay, even of this same day. So it was, you know, God instructed him. He, you know, God had the day picked out. God knew the day. And so God told Ezekiel, on this day, write it down. Make a note of this particular day. Okay. 10th of October of the ninth year of, you know, when it was sort of. Huh? It wasn't October for them, no, but. They have a totally time. Yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Well, oh, just a minute. Let me. Okay, let me go back here. Do, do, do. I've got, uh, okay, I do have, oh, there it is. I do have some post-it mo post notes here. Let's see, uh, names of, uh, okay, uh, let's see, English months, December, January's, let's see, Tabith, Tabith, Sabat, Adar, Abib, Ziph, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Ethanim. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this would be, uh, if you will, okay, Adar. Yeah. Ethan, yeah, Ethanim. Yeah, it would be September, October. So, you know, right in there. And 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 the, the September rock that Ethan Ethanim, Ethanim, is the uh, first is the 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 if you will the new year of the Jewish civil year. Okay. Abib is the uh, first month of the Jewish religious year. Okay. Uh, and this, uh, yeah, Ethanim would would be the seventh year of the sacred year, and so yeah, so that's where we are. It is you know September October. We're still close there. Okay, so so son of man, write thee the name of the day, even of this same day, the king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem this same day. Now, uh, 
Ezekiel probably wouldn't have known that, you know, he would have known that, that, is, that Nebuchadnezzar's army had been, you know, was on the move, but he, he may not have known, he may have not have gotten the, the intelligence from the spies uh, that, uh, you know, any, any good king would have, but he's, he's a slave. Uh, he, you know, he, he didn't know the exact day, so God told him the exact day. Okay. The king of Babylon set himself against Jerusalem this same day. And, and actually, the, the prophecies in this chapter were actually delivered two years and five months after those of the previous section, you know, chapter 20 and, and chapter 23, remember? Chapter 23 was, you know, in, in the date in my Bible, 593 B.C. Okay. So, you know, three years, two years, five months. And, and this is the, this day mentioned was the very day on which Nebuchadnezzar completed his arrangements for the siege. And, and closed in, if you will, the city. Okay. He's got all the arrangements done. He's got all of everybody's, his army is there. He's got all, the, and they've surrounded the city. They've started the siege. And, and after the captivity, when it finally ends, when they're finally released, okay, uh, this day was uh, reserved, regularly observed, as a fast day. And that's, that's mentioned in Zechariah. Okay, Zechariah. So it was observed as a fast day, a day of fasting. So, you know, here, here we've got the day picked out. God told Ezekiel the day. And this is the, the exact day that, uh, again, we, we don't know, like I said, you know, that, that ninth year from what. But we do know it was in the ninth year of something, from something. And so, verse 3, and utter a parable unto the rebellious house. Okay. He's still, you know, uh, he's still uh, classifying uh, Israel as a re rebellious house. Okay. Because they have rebelled against God and by worshiping other idols. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. Okay. Uh, this, this parable, okay. It's uh, prepare a meal, if you will. Set on a pot. Get, get the pot ready to go. Put some water in, in, in the pot. Set on a pot. Set it on. Get it on the fire. Get it start, you know, put, put your, your pan of water for whatever you're, you're going to make. Uh, uh, you know, prepare the meal, get the meat ready, whatever. Uh, uh, get it all ready, get the water boiling, and also pour water into it. Okay. So, so you're, you're getting the pot going. You are, uh, you know, the, this is a cauldron, if you will. You, you know, you, if you can think of, imagine even, even well, we don't do it, you know, too much today, but, but imagine, uh, you know, in uh, our pioneer days, the pioneers would, would have a, a big, you know, uh, cauldron, uh, you know, iron pot, black iron pot that they would hang over the fire, and, you know, the, the really old houses, they'd hang them over the fire, put, get the big iron pot, uh, set it on the fire, and and you know we've we've got uh, th this uh, indicates you know this figure under uh, you know by this figure utter destruction, okay. and the cauldron is the city, the fire is the surrounding army, the flesh and bones are the inhabitants shut in within the wall. Okay. So, so that that's what this you know here the parable is all explained. Okay. 
set on a pot, also pour, gather the pieces thereof. Okay, that would be uh, pieces which are designed for the cauldron. You know, you, you get your, your good meat there. You've already slaughtered your lamb. Get the good meat off of there and you throw that in the pot. And you know, Moses' uh, uh, instructions for, uh, you know, you sacrifice. You know, you've, you've got your lamb and, and you sacrifice the lamb and, and the, the uh, part of the sacrifice gets burned up or completely destroyed. Part of the sacrifice uh, was, was meant to, to feed, if you will, the priests. Okay. Uh, they had to have dinner too. Part of the sacrifice was meant to feed the priests. So here we are. Uh, gather the pieces thereof into it. Even every good piece, the thigh and the shoulder, the, the good meat. Okay. Fill it with the choice bones. Okay. You, you know, you get the bones in there. Oh, you know, uh, 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 yeah, navy bean soup. Like you put a ham, ham bone in it, or, or you know, ham, ham soup, yeah, ham bone soup, or, or any kind of stew, you know, you throw a, a, a bone into it, and, and it adds to the flavor. Of course, yeah, of course I would like navy bean soup. I haven't had any navy bean soup for ages. I'm gonna, I do have a, 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 a submarine cookbook recipes from the submarine service that the submarine cooks on the boats would fix for their their crews and there there is a there's a recipe in there for macaroni you know navy macaroni and cheese so you know get a you have to look at up find some navy bean soup anyway so so you know that with the, that you know the choice bones Throw those in there, and some of the bones, actually, uh, you know, not the choice ones, would, some of the bones would actually be used for fuel in the next verse. Take the choice of the flock, okay, the choice in the, in, in the, of the flock were, were the, the choice pieces, were the, if you will, the choice members of the community. Uh, yeah, that would be, you know, oh, the princes and all of that, you know, the, the rich guys. Remember, a lot of people are going to die in this siege okay? from, uh, you know, pestilence, from famine. Uh, it's a, it's a two-year siege. A lot, 20, uh, two-thirds of the nation of, Is of, of, you know, remaining nation of Israel, what's there, Judah, Two-thirds of the Jewish people are going to die because of their sin. Okay? And, and this is utter destruction here. God is, is showing them utter destruction. Get, uh, even every, the, fill it with, take the choice of the flock and burn also the bones under it. That's the fuel. You know, some bones will get to make, make fuel. And make it boil well. Okay? Really... You know, uh, you know, get the pot going. Uh, what? Uh, hmm? Stir the, pot. stir the pot. Yeah, boil it well. Stir the pot, uh, and and let them seethe. There, that's the word. Seethe the bones there uh, of it therein. Make a good, you know, soup, if you will. And again, this is this isn't really good news here. Because this is their destruction. And they're, they're going to be just, you know, pretty much dinner. <laughs> Destroyed, literally. You know, nobody is going to eat them. But it, the, it's, it's that picture of, of uh, just, the, you know, the, the, the pot, the boiling pot. And the, you know, the, if you will... There's also that little analogy of, you know, put a put a frog in a in a in a in, in a pot of water and, and slowly turn up the heat. Well, this is this is quickly turn up the heat, 
and two thirds of you are gonna be gone by the time it's done. And that's a good place to quit right there. Dinner cooking. The soup is on the stove. Okay. Now we all want lunch. Huh? Now we all want lunch. Yeah. Yeah, right after breakfast. And, and like I said, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm craving some navy bean soup. 